minutes to go in the national final, and they're standing on the fence here watching the concluding stages. Anthony Bear, first time, wins the Australian final. Fireworks on the infield. Second place to Brad McClure. Ash Media's coverage of the Australian Street Stock title is proudly brought to you by Speedway Sedans Australia. Heat number five. Robbie Foe and Mark Carlin between the five national titles. Down into turn number one. And Robbie Foe has the uh, breaking rights out of turn one and two. Mark Carlin fights back down the back straight. The yellow lights are on. There's debris on the racetrack somewhere. It's down in Pitts Bend apparently. Wait for the green flag. Heat five. Set for a start, the Wayne Racing. Good even start and Robbie Foe and Mark Harlan are still door handle to door handle. But the Australian Street Stock champion gets the better of the Australian Modified Sedan champion for the moment. So move out of three and four the first time. They're four wide further back in the field. Robbie Foe's the leader for Mark Allen, John Lodge. The West Australian champion Jason Oldfield's up into fourth place. Around the outside of that uh, big group of cars for the minor placings is the 78 of Phil Pottage. And uh, there's trouble further back in the field for one, th four, three of Jamie Locke. Robbie Foe the leader, Mark Allen, John Lodge, Jason Oldfield. Back to Phil Pottage and Darren Forrest. Uh, he's up to sixth. Around the outside goes Troy Polly into seventh. Uh, that's Ricky Throckmorton going up to eighth. And it's Nathan Dunn who's gone back to ninth. It's Robbie Foe out in front in heat five of the Australian title. Leads by 0.963 over Mark Carlin, John Lodge. And back then in fourth place is that of Jason Oldfield. A gap back in fifth place then to the 78 car, which is driven by Phil Pottage, then Darren Forrest. Ricky Throckmorton then back in eighth place is Troy Polly. So move down the main straight. It's Robbie Foyer, Ray Cedar. Second place is Mark Carlin. He's under enormous pressure from John Lodge. And also Jason Oldfield. Back in fifth place, it's Carnivus 78 with Phil Pottage. He's uh, got Darren Forrest right behind him. And then back to Ricky Throckmorton. Down the main straight, they come once again. Seven laps to go. And the two times Australian Street Stock champion is the leader. John Lodge all over the back end of Mark Carlin. Also there is Jason Oldfield as the sun beams down on Redline Raceway. Back in fifth place, it's uh, Phil Pottage, then Darren Forrest. Then back in seventh place, it's Ricky Throckmorton. Troy Polly is next. Then further back to uh, Nathan Dunn, Jamie Locke, Clint Purdy and uh, Graham Miller. Well, he's sick and tired of being on the inside of Mark Carlin is John Lodge. And he drives right round the outside and goes into second place. Mark Carlin back to third. Jason Oldfield trying to find a way through. Back in fifth place, it's anybody's guess. Here comes Forrest. Forrest comes underneath the Phil Pottage and Ricky Throckmorton right there with them. Well, John Lodge all of a sudden is going to be applying the pressure to Robbie Foe. The margin's down to 0.478. And Lodge has a quick lap of the race. Right there also Mark Carlin and Jason Oldfield. A gap back in fifth place to Darren Forrest. Sixth place is still anybody's guess between uh, Phil Pottage and Ricky Throckmorton. John Lodge though, right up behind Robbie Foe with three to go. Mark Carlin and Jason Oldfield. Lodge is making all the running as they come up now on Graham Miller in calibre 16. Up into Pitts Bend with two laps to go this time around. Which way will they duck and dive? Well, Lodge goes the outside and Lodge hits the front. So Lodge goes to the lead. Down into turn number one. Robbie Foe to fight back and he does. Robbie Foe back in front. Back then to Mark Carlin in third place. They're now going to come up in another lap car. Clinton Purdy with a lap to go. It's the status quo. Foe the inside and Lodge to the outside. They hit the line together. 0.14 of a second separated them. And Lodge ends up, oh, we've got Purdy up in the fence. Purdy's hit the fence down in turn number one. The yellow lights have come on. Oh my goodness, what a race that was. They zigged and zagged on the back markers. 
Sigton's act on the back markers and it's come to grief for the 88 car. Getting very, very big indeed. Here we go, heat five, about to get back underway. It's a two lap restart. Robbie Foe just ahead as they come into the main straight. The greens are on. What has John Lodge got in the last two laps? So go down to turn number one. Jason Oldfield goes right round the outside of Mark Carlin who got a hopeless restart. He's gone back as Ricky Throckmorton's gone through. So too Darren Forrest. And John Lodge hits the front as they come out of turn four. Lodge and Robbie Foe cross the line together. The margin is 0 0.004. Robbie Foe back in front. Lodge on the inside. Robbie Foe and uh, John Lodge are going to fight this out to the death. Up into turn three and four the last time. And Robbie Foe will prevail only just by half a car length. Jason Oldfield, Darren Forrest, Phil Pottage, Mark Carlin, Jamie Oldfield, Troy Polly, Ricky Throckmorton, Nathan Dunn, and Clinton Purdy. One, uh, sorry, 0.138 of a second between Robbie Foe and John Lodge. Darren Forrest set the quick time with a 16.989. It's Robbie Foe first, John Lodge and Jason Oldfield. Robbie, that was a fantastic race. I've just got one question for you, my friend. Was that as much fun as what you were having last night? Uh, no, last night was probably a fair bit better than race, and that's what we come for is the party. Mate, uh, that was great. The, the lap cars there could have spoiled it for you, but didn't, luckily. Yeah, I got a bit lucky. Uh, the first one I came up to, and yeah, that sort of gave um, Lodgy a bit of a, a run there. But, um, yeah, we're lucky enough to get going and then went on that last lap and we'll sort of Lodgy uh, sh showed the nose. I just had the driver in full noise that um, we got a bit of a slick setup for later on, so we knew we were going to struggle a bit this one. But it's just I'm not into changing stuff during the heats. It's too hard. Well, you got the early points, well done. And uh, we'll go on from here for the rest of the night as we move on to heat six. And uh, when you think about this heat six, this is only halfway through the first group of heats.